So now I want to do our first bit of programming and that's going to be on testbed.c and you should have your testbed. We need to make sure that we plugged our we just need to put one motor onto the port number one on motor onto our cortex and then put our bump switch which is that little button put that wire into number one on digital. So after you've done that then we are going to make sure we uh, set up all of our profile correct. So robot VEX com cortex communication mode make sure that USB only is a, has a dot beside it. Next we're going to go robot platform type natural language PLTW has a check beside it. If it doesn't go ahead and check it. The reason we need that is so we have these options here. If you don't have that selected you won't be able to see it. Finally we're going to go to download firmware and automatically update the VEX Cortex. And at this point your, your, um, your test build should have its battery plugged in but it should be turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that's connected. Connect it to my Cortex. So I've done that. And make sure you've plugged your USB cord into your Cortex and then also into your computer through the USB slot. Now I'm going to say OK. It should download. Make sure you don't exit out while it's downloading. And then once it says all firmware versions on this VEX Cortex are up to date, click OK. Next, I know that it seems a little bit repetitive, but this does a little bit extra. So go ahead and click firm, firmware download right here after you do that. It will say OK. It will download a little bit more. Make sure that it, your Cortex is perfectly set up. Once that happens, click OK. And now, just make sure you keep your Cortex turned off at the, all, throughout all of this. I'll tell you when to turn it on. First, we're going to go to Motor and Sensor Setup. Go ahead and click on it. And first, I'm going to put in our digital sensor. And that is our bump. That's the button. And it should be plugged into the first port, number one. Go ahead and name it Bump. And make sure that you click touch for the sensor type. Then go to motors. We've plugged in one of our motors, we're not plugging in both of them, into port 1. And I'm going to go ahead and name that motor motor 1. Make sure you don't name it just motor because that won't be recognized as far as the code. The type is going to be VEX 269 motor. Apply and OK. So now this top area is, is set up. That's our, our variable. So our sensor is called bump. Our motor is called motor one. Now comes the time for us to begin our program. So if you see here, task main, and then it has the open curly Q bracket and the closed curly Q bracket. All of our code is going to go inside these two curly Q brackets. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here so, it's, so I know where I want to put it. I'm going to go to natural language. And I'm going to click open until. And we're going to use until bump. That's the type of button we're using, which is it's called a bump. So I'm going to click it and drag it right there. I want to change the sensor port to what we named it, which is bump. Go ahead and type bump. And then delay time in milliseconds. We're going to delay it by half half a second, so like 500 milliseconds. Hit enter. And then the next one we're going to put in, like when we push that button, what's it going to do? It's going to click on movement. It's going to start the motor. I'm going to dra drag it right here. Again, that start motor, drag it underneath until bump. The motor port we're using is called motor 1. I'm going to type motor 1. And then the speed, the fastest it can go, like whenever you hover over this, you can see that the range is negative 127 to 127. 
So the fastest it can go is 127. So that. And then I want the motor to run for a couple seconds. So I'm going to click wait and wait in time. Wait in time is in by seconds. If I clicked wait in milliseconds, that would be like if I wanted to do two seconds, I'd type type two for wait. If I did wait in milliseconds, if I wanted a two seconds, it'd be 2,000. Next, after two seconds, what do I want it to do? I want the motor to stop. And I'm going to put that there. And if I turned on motor one, then I want to turn off motor one. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. So now that's our code. It's going to do until bump, which is our button. When I push my button, it's going to start the motor and make it go as fast as it can go. Then I'm going to, it's going to wait two seconds, and then finally it's going to turn off. That is our code. So at this point, I am going to compile program, and it looks like my, my code looks good. Then I'm going to download to robot. Keep the battery off. Don't turn it on yet. It'll upload. And once you see, say OK. And then once you see this, go ahead and turn on the battery, which is a little switch on the cortex. And then click start. And then now I'm going to push my button and see if it works. And it worked. So if you need help, I'm happy to help you. You can rewatch this video or we can talk about it in class.